I mentioned in a previous video that the, <clears throat> the cabriolet here was uh, having uh, cold start issues. So when it would start, it'd start fine cold, but it would idle very rough and you couldn't give, you couldn't apply any throttle um, while it was warming up or else it would stall and then actually become difficult to start sometimes. Um, but once the vehicle warmed up, it idled fine and it ran fine. It was just while it was cold, um, it just did not want to idle correctly um, and, you know, couldn't handle any load of whatsoever. Um, so I've been like systematically going through the uh, fuel injection system, basically. Uh, checked the fuel pressure, checked and cleaned the warm-up regulator, things like that. Um, clean the... Uh, fuel injectors, the cold start injector. Um, but while I was going through everything again, and actually I was running a test where I went in the back there and reached to unplug the uh, O2 sensor. Um, while I was reaching, I noticed this little wire, this little connector broke. So it was, I think, behind this bolt here on the cold start injector and it looked like it was connected but it basically i don't know just from sticking my hand in here snapped very easily um so even though it was connected i don't think it was a very good connection and this goes here to the um this is one of the the valves that uh like is connected to the idle um that's responsible for idle uh, stabilization. This one is for the AC. So like when the AC compressor kicks on, this will help adjust and keep the idle up to compensate for the, the drag of the AC compressor. And then this is just the regular one, like valve to help aid and maintain a proper idle. So I am going to show you a quick test I did, and then I am going to repair this and, uh, hopefully give her uh, a little road test. So the car's idling here and it's idling cold right now. And I want you to pay attention to one thing. So you can see the idling and how rough it is. You can hear the vibration of the, uh, the motor mount. But notice this is not touching anything. And watch what happens to the idle when it makes contact and is properly grounded. Okay. So the idle smoothed right out. It increased a little bit, but it definitely got smoother. So here it is, touching again on the ground, on the contact, making contact, and then remove. And again. now I mean you could see how much this how much the idle smoothed out when this was properly grounded so I am gonna remove this connector put on a new one I'm actually gonna solder it um, and maybe put like a piece of shrink tube at the base of it um, put it in the same location I believe and make sure the contact is good clean it clean both surfaces um, you know simple but, you know, just going to make sure it gets a good connection. Um, and then fire it back up. So I'm done. Um, these are five millimeter hexes to loosen them up. So basically what I did was I took the broken end off. I cut it off. Um, and I ended up using one of the other, you know, eyelet fittings. This is like one of the all weather ones or like outdoor ones where you, you know, crimp it on. I, then I, I like to do a little bit of solder. And then you hit the, the sleeve with a heat gun and it will actually shrink. Um, and I just like that because it, uh, it holds, you know, it kind of like grips the actual wire. So I cleaned the base of this bolt um, with a wire brush. I cleaned this contact here with a wire brush, I cleaned the surface that it was going into. 
So everything is raw metal to raw metal. And that's really it. You know, it just took a minute or two to do to clean it up. Um, and I am going to fire it up. Um, but I just wanted to quickly do this video because it really goes to, you know, if you look in any of the forums or anyone who's, you know, um, good or has experience, you know, troubleshooting uh, CIS fuel injection systems, one of the first things they always say is, you know, look for vacuum leaks, address any of your vacuum leaks first, and any, you know, loose grounds or uh, wires. And sure enough, that's what it appears was the issue on this car. Um, you know, I spent a lot of time, do, actually when I bought this car, when we first got it, this particular elbow here, like the PVC, that piece of rubber right there, was all like disintegrated and leaking badly. Um, I did other things, like I went in and I should really put a clamp here, but some of these fittings didn't have clamps. They were just, you know, on there. And I guess over time, the the oil, like the petroleum and the oil breaks down the rubber and made them like really soft and gummy. But, you know, I, I did go through and address all my vacuum leaks. And I did like the test with uh, um, like carb cleaner while the car was running to see if, it, if the idle, you know, spiked when you sprayed any specific area. But I thought I was good in the, on the, in the ground department, but I did find that that one loose wire, and it, like I said, it, go, it went to the the idle like uh, stabilizing valve, like the part of that whole system. So I am going to fire it up and make sure everything's good and see if it still has that rough idle, which I doubt it's gonna. But um, that's it. That's it for this video. I just wanted to share a quick update and just show the importance of you know, the little things, doing the little things. And uh, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and uh, stay tuned for, for more content.